Hi, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela. So for today's video, as you already know from the thumbnail, the title of it, I will be sharing with you all several scholarships that are funded by financial companies, such as, well, I'll be getting into that with this video. And I really wanted to highlight this because so many times we spend, we put in all this money into these establishments while not even knowing that they would be able, be willing to pay for partial, if not all, of our education. So let's just get into this video. Now, for those who don't know my background, my name is, my real name is Carlin Green, and I have an extensive history of helping students win scholarships. I've been doing so since 2017 with my expertise. Personally, I've been able to win 30 scholarships for undergrad and grad school, and some of these scholarships, like the very first one that I will mention, I personally was able to help someone win it. So with that being said, I'm going to start sharing my screen because I am on Zoom here. Okay, so this first scholarship that I'm sharing with you all is one that is offered by Wells Fargo. And this one is specifically for students with disabilities. As you can see on your screen, this particular student, she's enrolled in my online course that gives like scholarship advice, my step-by-step -step strategy to winning 30 scholarships. And she was able to win a total of 42, 43,000. I'm not sure. It constantly goes up because she keeps emailing me telling me that she has won yet another scholarship thanks to my program. So this is a scholarship to look into. As you can see here, when I scroll down to eligibility, it's says that you have to identify with a certain disability, whether that is a mental disability or a physical disability. You have to have a minimum GPA of a 3.0, be a high school senior or graduate, or who is already enrolled in a full-time or half-time undergraduate study at a two-year or four-year college or university in the U.S. And now with that particular student that I mentioned, she was, she won this scholarship during her junior year of college, which just goes to show that you can still win as a current college student and all those scholarships she won all 15 16 whatever it is that has been able to fully fund both her junior year and her senior year of school so next up we have this scholarship from the u.s bank and with this you can get up to fourteen thousand dollars towards your college tuition with their scholarship sweepstakes so with the scholarship the eligibility criteria says that you first have to fill out a registration form and then you have to complete financial literacy education lessons and this is very helpful because even if you don't win the scholarship at least you get something else out of it so make sure to look into applying for this one as well okay so for the the third scholarship I will be covering for this video, this is coming from JP Morgan Chase, meaning the bank. And as you can see, their scholarship program and apprenticeships, this one is called Thomas G. Lab. I'm not even going to try and butcher that name. This is called a Smart Start Program, okay? And as you can see, as I'm viewing this, sharing my screen, the applications are currently closed, but this is like one of those applications or scholarship programs that typically reopens year by year. So make sure that you stay on top of when it reopens. Now, as far as the perks of this scholarship, it says you'll be gaining real world experience working in industry leading businesses while attending university on a full four-year scholarship. So this opportunity is fully funded. And I also want to mention this in this video that there is a difference between a full ride scholarship versus a full tuition scholarship. Full tuition means that they're only paying for like your education, your books, et cetera. Full ride means that they're paying for not only that, but in addition to like housing when you're on campus and all these other expenses that go into being a college student in school. So this is a great opportunity to look into. Let's see, I couldn't really find the eligibility on their website, so I went to Unigo instead. And so it's saying here that this award is available for students who are legal residents of the state of New York who plan to attend one of the following colleges in the state. So one of these mentions, such as NYU, uh, Columbia University, et cetera. And the application requires things like your SAT, ACT scores, FAST, FAFSA recommendation letter and so forth. Okay, so next up we have this scholarship from State Farm, the insurance company. So as you can see from eligibility, when I scroll down, it says children or legal dependents of a State Farm associate, such as employees, agents, or retirees, including stepchildren and foster children who are high school juniors, 11th grade, meaning their third year students. These students will be completing or leaving high school and attending, entering college in fall of whatever year that you're watching this video, because this is like 
probably one of those that opens up every single year. So this is a very unique scholarship of where you can only win it if your parents, if your legal guardian works for State Farm, you will come across scholarships that are only particular to their employees, or if it's not from a company, like it's from a nonprofit organization, a club, like, for example, if you're applying for a scholarship from a Greek life organization, it might say you can only apply if your parent is a member of it. And on that note, if you're applying for scholarships from Greek life organizations, not all the time you have to be a member of it or your parent to be a member of it. I personally have won a scholarship from a sorority and even a fraternity, and I'm not a member of either one of them. So keep that in mind. There are scholarships that have certain unique criteria such as this one. And for this scholarship, it gives you a stipend of 5000 per year for up to four years of college total. So that'll be a total $20,000 scholarship across the span of four years. And finally, for this video, I wanted to talk about this scholarship from Ernest, which is a refinancing, loan refinancing company. They're giving away $250,000 in scholarships. They do this just about every year, I believe. And it only takes a couple of minutes to apply, like five minutes. It's very quick. It doesn't require like a GPA, your resume. It doesn't require test scores or any of those other things that are typically required with scholarships. But on that note, I want you guys to know that the more specific a scholarship is with its eligibility, the more likely you are to actually win that scholarship at the end of the day because it narrows down the competition and makes it less saturated. So make sure that you are not focusing on just those that are super broad in eligibility or those that are super advertised online. Just being transparent with you all, these scholarships that I'm mentioning in this series are the types that are like very well known because they're coming from really well known companies. So make sure you're applying for those local opportunities. Make sure you're applying for scholarships particular to your state, particular to your major, particular. Oh, I'm saying that word so much for those attending the particular school that you're planning to go to. So have your eggs in multiple baskets, not just one, and keep applying. Oh my gosh. And also, please do not get discouraged if you are ever rejected from a scholarship. Ask for constructive criticism as to why you were rejected. Reach out to me if you were rejected. I review applications, make them stronger, edit essays. I do everything. And I even have a book and an online course that teaches you step-by-step step my winning strategy. So winning 30 scholarships for myself and millions of dollars of scholarships for other people. So there's all these resources that can really help with improving your scholarship experience and journey. Anywho, I hope that you enjoyed and found this a video resourceful and helpful. And if you want a full list of all the scholarships mentioned in this one, as well as other ones in different companies, industries of companies that give out scholarships, whether that's like food and beverages, medical companies, whatever it may be, I made a list of all that. All you have to do to access it is first follow and then DM me on Instagram at Carly100 with the keyword COSCO, which stands for Corporate or Company Scholarships, and then I will send it to you for free. Thank you and um, have a wonderful day.